In today's video, I want to show you how is the performance of the Android subsystem in the Fight Tab Duo. Remember that this tablet doesn't come with Android, it comes with Fight OS, but you can install some Android applications. In a video coming next week, I will show you also how is the Linux performance, that I think is one of the strongest points of this tablet. For this video, I recommend you checking the timestamps below because I will leave some gameplay in case you want to see how a certain game performs, so you can skip to the part that you prefer. First, we are going to start with some applications related to Office or just productivity. In this case, as we have a pencil, I want to show you this application for note taking. You can see that you can write without any problem, you can place the hand on the tablet and it is not detected, so I think for the students, this can be used for note taking without any problem. Probably not for professional drawers because the pencil has a bit of lag, but I don't know how to draw properly, so I cannot test it in a better way. But in general, you are not going to have any problem with applications for note taking or open just PDF files. Also, I want to show you the file explorer that I'm using instead of the one that comes with the Fido OS system because this one has the split screen, so you can have two different folders open at the same time and you can copy and paste things from one folder to another. I also have installed VLC, so you can open a file from the Android subsystem with the VLC application and it runs perfectly, it doesn't have any problem. And to finish with the productivity applications, I want to show you some Office app like WPS because the Microsoft Office applications needs a paid license if the tablet is larger than 8 inches if I'm not mistaken. So with this application you can create Word files, Excel files or PowerPoint. In this case you can open a Word file and you can write whatever you want. If you attach the keyboard to the tablet, you can use the keyboard and the mouse like a normal laptop. Also here you can see that you can create an Excel file you can zoom in a bit, write whatever you want, and use some mathematic formulas. And before going to the performance on gaming, I want to show you some multimedia applications. For example, I have installed this application that you can see right now, here. And with this, I have modified the one that I have just opened. You can ask in the Discord or the Telegram for the videos that YouTube retired, in case you are interested. So here you can see that, for example, Twitch opens without any problem and you can do the same with YouTube. But for YouTube, you can also use the browser that comes with the tablet. I have to say that I prefer to use the Android applications for YouTube and Twitch because in the browser, I don't know why the Bluetooth headset restarts every 5 or 10 seconds, but in Android they work perfectly, so I don't know why this error happens. Now let's move to some gaming. I will start with Genshin Impact and I have skipped the loading of the game because it took like almost one minute or so, so it wasn't loading fast. And you can see that the game is perfectly playable, but it lags a bit, mainly when we use some ability that has some particles, so it struggles a bit. If we take a look to the graphical settings, we can see that I'm using the lowest option possible. This is how it comes by default. You can see that it is in lowest. If you change to low, it says that it is too much for the tablet. So let's put it on the lowest. And now I will show you some gameplay and some battles. I will leave this part without any voiceover, but in case you want to skip to the next part, check the timestamps below. After Genshin Impact, I want to show you Call of Duty Mobile. In Genshin Impact, we saw that the game lags a bit, but in this case, in Call of Duty Mobile, we will see a very good performance. Probably this is because the game is very well optimized. 
I will show you the graphical settings that I'm using in this game, but they are maxed out. And I will leave also a bit of gameplay. When the game starts, it lags just a little bit, but I think it's something normal when the first game starts. And now here you see that everything is running fine. Maybe because the camera settings, it looks like it runs a bit worse, but it is running perfectly. Now I will leave you with some gameplay, so in case you want to skip this part, check the timestamps below. Now I will show you the performance on Honkai Star Rail, this game is from the creators of Genshin Impact, but instead of an action game, this is a turn-based RPG. This time the game is in medium graphics and 30 FPS. You can see that in the open world the game runs fine, but if you use some abilities that has some particles, it can lag a bit. I will show you now a combat, so you can see the performance when you use abilities and ultimates. If we check the graphical settings, we can see that they are in medium and cap to 30 FPS instead of 60. Now I will leave you with some gameplay, but you will see that when we use some abilities or the ultimates during the combat, the game lags a bit. Remember that if you want to skip to the next part, you can see the timestamps below. In this part, I wanted to repeat the battle, but changing the settings to low, just in case we can see some improve in the performance. But as a result, I can comment you that the performance is more or less the same, and I didn't see any difference. The game still lags when you use some abilities or the ultimates or some enemy appears, so it's more or less the same than playing in medium settings. Now I want to talk about emulation in this tablet. We have to remember that this tablet comes with a Mali GPU, so we cannot use Vulkan or Tarnip drivers. And remember that we are using the Android subsystem that comes with FadeOS. This is not the Android operating system that you can install directly to the tablet. But don't worry, I will do a video on how to install Android to this tablet and we will compare the results in performance with this Android subsystem. But you can see that even at 1x resolution, we cannot run games for the PSP at 60 FPS. They seem to run at around 40. Now, with older consoles like the Nintendo DS, we don't have any problems because these are very light consoles. So we can play Nintendo DS, Game Boy or consoles that are older. I will show you in a moment the performance of Sidra MMJ to emulate 3DS games, but as I commented, we are not going to be able to run them properly. So I just want to do in the future the video on how to install Android native 
in this tablet and I want to compare the results with the ones that we're seeing right now because as you can see the menu here in the Mario Kart game runs fine but once we start the race we can see that the FPS are too low and this is in 1x resolution. So as a conclusion I think the Android subsystem in FidoS is not well optimized. You can use office applications and applications for productivity things but not for gaming. Maybe you can game a bit like we saw on Call of Duty Mobile or if you want to play games in impact on low settings but in general the performance is not the greatest. But we will see how it performs on the native Android operating system that we can install on this tablet. So I hope you liked the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe.